Guys, guess what? I went to Fashion Week. Oh, by the way, my voice is back. Did you miss it? I know I missed it. I know I missed my voice, but lots of tea, lots of honey, lots of rest later, and my voice is officially back. Well, for the most part. <laughs> if you missed my Labor Day shenanigans, um, I'll link some of the videos, some of the previous videos at the end of this video so you can go back and see why exactly I lost my voice and all the fun I had. But yes, New York Fashion Week is exactly a week after Labor Day. It starts actually about that Wednesday or Friday after Labor Day. So yes, I was in New York two consecutive weekends. I flew home, took care of some business, and then flew back to New York because I could not miss out on Fashion Week since I was... <sighs> an adolescent living in New York, I watched fashion weeks on the fashion channel. There's one of those public access channels. I think it was like 21. It was past 13. 13 was PBS, but you kept going a little while. You passed a couple of those like snowflake channels where it's nothing but just fuzz on your screen and then you continue. So, you know, I would wake up early in the morning just to watch the shows um, of New York Fashion Week and the other fashion weeks. So New York Fashion Week first starts off, it kicks off Fashion Month. And after New York Fashion Week comes uh, London. So it's immediately following New York, London, Milan, and then Paris uh, wraps up the fashion weeks in the fall, in the month of September. And so September going into October. But it was so amazing to finally be able to make it to Fashion Week that I could not pass up the opportunity. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you uh, my Fashion Week event. I went to a fashion show for Fashion Week, but I also came to New York. I flew in on the Friday because I wanted to see the African fashion exhibit at the Brooklyn Museum. So I'll show you that, the Brooklyn Museum, yes, the same venue where um, Soka Fest was held. Soka Fest was in the back of the museum outside. Um, so there's this exhibit that's ongoing. I think it may still be ongoing at the time that this video airs. So go ahead and check it out if you're in Brooklyn and you, and you get a chance to do so. So uh, the African fashion um, exhibit definitely set the tone for the fashion show that um, I attended because it was the Fashion Bomb Daily Fashion Show, which is very much about the multicultural fashions, all of these great fashion designers. And so I'm going to show you that in this video. So I have the timestamps down below in case you want to, you know, just forward ahead to that one. But I hope that you watch the entire thing. Oh, where are my manners? If you are new here, my name is Lori, and in this community, we strive to educate, motivate, and inspire each other about all things travel related. And since, you know, I'm into fashion as well, you're going to see me traveling for fashion, traveling for music, traveling for food, traveling for all the things that I'm naturally into. So uh, you'll see a, a, a cross section or an intersection of all of these different topics on this channel. I know a few of you may be here from TikTok, and if you don't know what, what has been happening on TikTok, some of you may want to check me out. It's also Globetrotter Lori on TikTok. But um, I'll talk about that viral video, <laughs> that viral TikTok video in another video. For this, this is just Fashion Week we're talking here right now. Um, but basically, I want to welcome you guys to the channel. For those of you who are new here, if you're just stumbled across the, the channel by just happenstance, by just fate today, then um, I hope that you'll stick around. I hope that you like what you see, that you like what you hear, that you're inspired, that you're motivated, and all of those things. Around here, we also believe that um, there is a higher value in experiences over things. And so we value experiences over things because we believe that Travel is the only thing you buy that makes you richer. So stick around. First, we'll go to the African Fashion Exhibit, and then we'll go on to the Fashion Week show. Okay? Come along. <laughs> A relationship between all the different ones. Expensive because they're trying to recoup their money from the pandemic. <laughs> they gotta make their money back. We 
just here. <laughs> but back there. <laughs> Center, huh? Is that for the immigrants too? Huh. your whole outfit. <laughs> Thank you.
Fried fish combo, whiting with two sides, mac and cheese, and yellow rice, and a piece of golden cornbread, of course, and then apple cobbler. Is this is that ice cream for that? No, I was about to say. Mm. Rich. Okay, huge disclaimer from the footage that you saw. Clearly, it was very humid in New York. It was scattered showers. It was very unusual for the temperature, for the weather to be what it was in September. Usually, right after Labor Day, things really, really cool down in New York. You could see that my hair was already puffy and fuzzy and all, all the things, like right, like right now. I have not yet had my hair care, uh, my appointment with my uh, at, at the salon to get my hair. <sighs> my hair after travel care done. So I've had some skincare done, haven't had my nails done yet and haven't had my hair done yet. So right now you see me in very relaxed, chill mode, Lori. So <laughs> hope you didn't mind that. But yeah, back to the weather. It was in the 90s during fashion week. And so I can't imagine all the fashion girlies that planned the outfits that had very intricate and layered looks and all of those things. You know, it's kind of hard to pivot at the last minute. So, um, and I didn't pivot either. I just, you know, sucked it up, braved the heat, braved the humidity, sprayed a ton of hairspray, got to be glued hairspray, and that kept my hair uh, stick straight. Because again, I, I think I told you before, it's natural. And so with humidity, like it's raining here today, it poofs up on me. So. Um, if I want to keep it straight, then I have to put a lot of product in it, which I don't generally like to do, but a lot of flat, flat ironing and then a lot of, hair, you know, layered, uh, layers of hairspray, um, and anti-humectant, a Veda anti-humectant, I think it is that I use. I'll show you guys one day what I do, but I don't, if you care, let me know down in the comments. But, um, that's what I did and it stayed all night. It stayed pretty pretty decent as you'll see in the video. Um, the lighting in the fashion show was a little bit dark and so I didn't get an opportunity to show you my full outfit. There were pictures taken there professionally and all that kind of stuff, but um, I didn't get a chance to show you my full outfit there. So I'll insert pictures here. I wore a dress from Hanifa. This is a black designer and I wore an express uh, blazer over that to kind of uh, tame it down a little bit because it's a mini dress. And, and then, um, a YSL pin and a, the YSL pyramid bag and the shoes I had on were from Steve Madden. They're a Gianvito Rossi dupe. And um, yeah, that was my look for the evening and I felt comfortable in it. I wore comfortable shoes because I knew that there would be a bit of walking from the Uber, which yeah, we, we had to like basically walk to find an Uber because the, the traffic, the congestion during Fashion Week in New York City is incredible. It is incredible. But the nerves were there, the excitement was there, and I could not wait to get dressed up and dolled up and go to this show. So this is a Fashion Bomb Daily show. Fashion Bomb Daily is a website and social media juggernaut that um, updates daily on different uh, stylings that you see on celebrities, on public personalities, on your favorite movie stars, all those kinds of things. And it's basically by a young lady named Claire Summers. And she is the one who founded it. It's her, it's her brainchild. And the fashion show is going to be hosted by Real Housewives of Atlanta, former star Mimi Leakes. There were some other housewives there, some who were fashion deficient and some who were fashionable. I won't name any specific names. I was not there for them. I was there for the fashion. Um, but the fashions were really, really outstanding. I didn't get a chance to show you all of the designers who showed. There were, I believe, about 10 designers that showed, of course, all multicultural. 
Um, so this was right in my pocket, right in my pocket. I loved the going to the African show first, African fashion exhibit at Brooklyn Museum, which then set the tone going into this Fashion Bomb Daily show. And we didn't get VIP seats, but we got pretty decent seats where we can see um, the designs coming and going. Unfortunately, not all of the designers walked the entire runway, so they didn't come over to the cheap seats, <laughs> the cheaper seats, because we weren't standing, but we were seated, you know, a little bit away from the main part where the where the designs started out. Um, so a lot of them didn't come all the way around, and that was fine. I understand. Thank you.